I think this guy is unbelievable. He's actually trying to make it sound like I am forgiving because I don't want to. I'm a good person. I am Prophet Jeremiah Fufai. Yes, uh, it is a wonderful day and a wonderful hour. Yes, uh, why I'm coming out in order to now address the people who are out there and uh, in order to now make this video. I, it's something that which is all, what is now um, um, trending right now that uh, people are now, calls are everywhere. Calls are everywhere. Father, you are like this, Father, you are like this. So, what is the, is the, the calls are coming, begging, this one begging me. Ah, I know. Uh, well, uh, this is how the thing goes. The Bible clearly stated, myself, I am not God. What something that happened right recently, these few days, about uh, a young man, and uh, people are now, you know, different groups are now, you know, like, uh, you know, confusion everywhere. People are saying, what is going on in this school? Okay. As a man of God, calls everywhere, call it back. Now, what is going on? Forgive your mind. Ah, I am not God. I have to come out and uh, say what is in my mind. What is in my mind is this. Um, um, we are all human. However, you insult me, you insult this one, you insult me. Because what really happened, it was really, you know, um, uh, as flesh. That's why I was, you know, react to that extent. I would react to that extent. We are all flesh. So, but uh, what is really there, whatever you are, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I have nothing to do with you. <laughs> I have nothing to do with you. Because, why? I'm a man of God. Man of God, in other words, that I am, I have to forgive. I have to forgive. Forgiveness is divine. I am forgiving you from the bottom of my heart. I'm forgiving you. Because uh, however the story, however the story, however, uh, um, what am I going to do if I now take you to this place? If I now go to if I now arrest you, what, 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 is the, what is the benefit? And also, there's no benefit there. So, as a man of God, I'm now tell, come and out and tell all the people and all the people that who are there, that now sons and daughters who are angry over there, whatever country you are, please, I'm begging you, I am forgiving the bottom of my heart. However, in Southern Day, please, as a man of God, forgiveness is divine. So I want you people to also forgive. I want to now show you, I want to take you to the cave. I gave them three million to this young man. Do you know that? Throughout today, right now, nobody. You know, I have never set my eyes on this young man. After giving him 73 million naira through the actors to him. I've never set my eyes to this young man. This actor, I've not known him. Even the appeared here, I don't know. I don't know him. So that is called sanity. Give, give unto thee. So today, I am here. I tell all the people that all over the world, Jeremiah Bodo Fufui, whatever, whatever insult I'm coming up or anywhere, I am forgiving. So please, um, uh, so -so. Arrest anybody? No, no arrest, no more arrest. Please, I'm begging everybody, and uh, to now stop this one. And God bless you, viewers all over the world. Thank you very much. I remain Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for free, and uh, this one they never ever stop me to give anybody. This one, whatever thing that happened today, it can never ever stop me, stop my giving. My giving continues because God. That's the covenant that I have promised God that if He bless me, I will bless his children, that will those who are needy. So thank you very much, God bless you, and God bless you. Thank you. Love you all. This guy is unbelievable. He's actually trying to make it sound like he's forgiving because he's a good person. No, no arrest. Whoever is angry out there, forgive, forgive, because I'm a man of God. So his reason is because he's chosen to forgive. That's what he's trying to pass across here. What I would say about this man Jeremiah is that he's funny, but 
I like him. I actually like him. I like him because I think that he's a smart man. At first, I thought he was... I will say, I thought he was stupid. I thought how ridiculous of him to think that he can make a fool of us. Because the first time that I, the first time that I saw him, it was when he was refuting Pastor Damina's message, talking about sales of products, and he quickly went and made a video where he was talking about judgment and that people shouldn't judge because we should leave everything to God to judge. And I thought, how stupid of him to think that he can make a fool of us by trying to tell us that Damina is wrong by calling out these things. Because, I mean, it's obvious that you're selling things to people who are gullible, members of your congregation. And I thought that was very stupid of him. And then the next thing that I saw was that he, very dark man had decided to take him up on his claims. And then he went and instituted a case against very dark man, taking him to court. And then he turned around and decided to say that he was forgiving very dark man. This would have been after realizing that this was ridiculous and he was making things worse for him. And at that point, I was like, this guy is so stupid. And then next thing, this morning, I wake up and I see that he has now decided to take off those products from his website and has actually gone ahead to make a claim saying that anybody who is selling products or who is selling items, he's going to curse because it is wrong. And so I've gone, I've swung back and forth thinking he's stupid, he's smart, he's stupid, he's smart. But what I realize is that this is a man who is struggling. This is a man who's struggling to keep his yellow purple, right? Uh, because how will the yellow purple scheme be maintained? And so at the end of the day, I have to give it to him and say that this is a smart man. Because some people will keep arguing even when you find them with their hands in the cooking pot, with the meat in their hands. They will struggle and argue and deny, deny, deny. Because people will deny until they were proven guilty in court. But you see, with this man, you go this way, he runs out and goes that way. You go this way, he runs out and goes that way. What I see is a man who is struggling to survive. In the first instance, the reason why he the reason why he brought out all those products was because he may even have started innocently in the beginning. But then he realized, if these people trust me this much, after all, they're going to be using these products. You know, let's break this down. He's, they're going to be using these products. They're going to need towels. They're going to need oil. They're going to need perfume. Why don't they get them from me? And at the same time, they feel like they are getting something that's going to do something for them. So he's doing a legitimate business in the sense of selling them things that they're going to buy anyway. But the thing is, he's taking, he was taking advantage of them. And then right now, he's only 180 to say that anybody who is selling things, who is selling any of these products, he will lay a custom because it's wrong. So what I see here is, what is annoying is that he hasn't admitted to us that he's made a mistake and that he's sorry for that. If he did that, that wouldn't completely absolve him, but it will make things a little better. But I like the fact that he's recognized that I shouldn't continue going on this line because I am going to lose, lose, lose. And so he's taken a... a, a, a and so he's made a detour for something that will make more sense by taking those things down from his website and now he's going to give them for free. I want to now make you people clear tonight. The spiritual items are not for sale. The spiritual items are not for sale. And anybody out there sell these spiritual items to you, I will lay costs on them. I will lay costs on them. Because it's not for sale. You have to go and register right now on the mountains. Then they will give it to you free. Why we are registering? Because we want to control the crowd. Something that has no uh, instruction or no guidance. It is useless. You now tell everybody, say, oh yeah, everybody go and take a spiritual item. Stampede is going to take place. That's why we have to guide you people in order to receive the blessings. And anybody out there sell these spiritual items to you, I will lay costs on them. I will lay costs on them. Because it's not for sale in this program. But then... In advance, he has explained why. And then he says that they will need to register to pick up those items. 
to me that registration is talking about is in his explanation he says that the registration is necessary because if you just give people items and they walk away with them without instructions then they'll be useless so what i see there is that he's insinuating maybe preparing in advance to say that anytime anybody has used these things without getting the proper instructions it hasn't worked for them because they didn't get the instructions so that he's covered two bases there now he doesn't want people to get access to them easily and so he's requiring a registration he doesn't want people to just get access to them and he claims also that there will be too much of a crowd and so these people will have to take these things and go and use them willingly without taking instructions so the, at the registration point i guess maybe they'll provide some sort of instructions and so that way he's covering two bases here he wants people to get his items so that at any point in time so maybe at any point in time he can argue that people who get these products need to come through with the instruction we need to get through with the instructions as well so that it will function well for them and secondly you see it's being given there be, He's explaining the reason why things that were being sold before are now being given for free. They are being given for free, but not without the people getting the instruction. So you see, he can properly explain now why those things were listed there so that anybody who is getting those things will also have to get the instructions. It's not like, is there not things that you can just go and pick up? And that's why they can't just leave them there for the whole crowd. And at the same time, here's what's happening. People are going to have to queue up to get these items. And when people are queuing up, it means that they're going to have to have people distributing these items to them at the point of pickup. And so at the point of registration, perhaps there will possibly be a sort of fee charged. And the explanation could be that the people who are distributing these things to them now need to be paid for their time. So you see, anyhow we look at it, it's a win-win situation. I like this man because he's an astute businessman, a man who decided to find a means of supplying something and having people pay for it instead of just telling people to give him money. Instead of claiming that he's doing this and that and he needs them to give him money, he gives you something in exchange for your money. So, but I like the fact that he puts some thought into what he's doing. He doesn't, it's not careless. The times that he made mistakes are running to make that video about Damina and judgments, running to take VDM to court. And I can understand why he did those things. That's a man who's struggling for his life. If the yellow papa decides to make life difficult for him, what's he going to do? And at this point, I'm also sorry for him because I know that he's probably in the doghouse and he'll be having things so difficult because who knows what is happening to him in that place because he's unable to keep up the supply that attracted the yellow papa in the first place. This is a man who's struggling for his life. He's struggling. He, this is a man who is struggling and he's doing everything ingenious. He's in, he's going about his survival in a very ingenious way. We have to give it to him. We really have to give it to him. He's, he's an astute businessman. He's actually smart. The problem is that he won't sit down and do it slowly and actually get something out of it. I know that he can do it. He has the capability to do it. He just saw an opportunity with these people, with these gullible people, and he, he, he decided to ride on it. But this is the kind of man who, if he really sits down, you see, this is a man who makes plans and he puts things in action and he gets results from them. If you watch this man closely, he thinks. He just needs to sit down and think about things properly and also accept the fact that it takes time to get somewhere and and that he will get there he will get there sorry he call was coming in with proper planning the times that he made mistakes are attacking damina by making that video running to make that video and also taking video to court and he did those things because he was jittery he was jittery because he was startled and afraid of seeing his livelihood his food being taken out of his mouth and his yellow purpose and that's it but something strikes me in all of this if you notice okay let me let me i would have liked him for not pursuing this stupid direction and for stepping down on all of these claims and for withdrawing those things from the website having seen that he's been caught red-handed but what i find worrisome is that he's publicly trying to gaslight the whole public 
and that shows us that there's something deeper going on with this guy and that is what i've been trying to see when people are misbehaving sometimes it's not deliberate but our society doesn't pay attention to these things because we ignore the mental we ignore the psychological aspects of our lives it's a real thing we need to pay attention to those things because who denies who who makes a complete 180 on something that they've said without trying to apologize at all without even saying i was wrong what he says instead is i am forgiving and then he withdraws all those things from the from the website and then goes ahead to say you need to take them with instructions along you're going to be registered. The reason why you're going to be registered is because we cannot just let people take things without getting the instructions. Do you see that something is going on here? And that's why I say that a lot of, I've always told my friends, that a lot of these people who do these things, who claim to be pastors, some of them are not doing these things because they're just bad people. Some of them have something going on in the mental that needs to be addressed because there's a way that a person processes things and makes no sense of everything. A person who is going to make all these pronouncements that he's made, who is going to step back on all the things that he said publicly, who is going to say nobody should sell anything. If you sell anything, you're going to be cursed. I'm going to I'm going to pl place curses on you. Without ever saying, I know that I did that in the past and I am sorry now or I realize the error of my ways or I will no longer do it. Instead, he says that he's forgiving. And I want us to note the aspect of saying if anybody sells these things, I'm going to lay curses on them. What is that telling us? Is that telling us that he wants to make sure that nobody who takes these things goes and sells them and makes money off of his sweat? Or is he saying it because he actually believes that people shouldn't be selling these holy items? And if in the first place we were even following the tenets of the Christianity, which we claim to be following, I think this was the very reason why Jesus went and destroyed things in the temple because people were turning that place into a place of trading. Isn't that what it is? Not saying, you know, so we need to we need to be careful the way not saying that anything can be sold in a church. Not saying that somebody can't write a book for people to learn things from it and sell it in church. No. Look, listen, we all have to now understand that we have different levels of understanding and different strengths. And unfortunately, life isn't black and white. We can't just happily paint things black and white. There are areas where you need to actually think and make sense of things because somebody's going to wake up now and say, that means you can never sell anything in the church. No, that is not true. And I don't say this because I own a church where I'll be selling things or that I have friends who will sell things. No, things are not black and white. We need to process things. Allow people who know who have their strengths to bring their strengths forward and allow this to be the guide. But never will anybody say something wrong and not know that it's wrong. This is where you shouldn't be lying to yourself, allowing people to gaslight you and not being able to trust your senses. When you see something, you know what you saw. If you hear something, you know what you... And in the, in the worst case scenario, get a seven-year-old and ask them. And a seven-year-old can explain to you what is right and wrong. Because I see that people just cannot trust their senses. And that's why they do things that they know that they shouldn't do, even though they know that they shouldn't do them. Because they're not sure what to do and what not to do. I think if you get a seven-year-old to lead you, in many instances, you'll be fine. You will take the right decision. You will know the right thing to do. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. Because I'm telling you, sadly, I deal with people every day who ask the most unbelievable questions. Somebody will be telling you that they're getting married in two months, but the person that they're getting married to loves to drink and even spends nights in the bar. That she'll go to his home and he won't be there. And she'll be there till the next day and he won't come home because... And when she calls... He would tell her that he's at the bar. He would have spent the night at the bar until the next morning, maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And they're asking, should I marry him? Should I still go ahead and marry him? We hear the most unbelievable things. Do you know what this means? This means that people have gotten to a point where they cannot trust their senses. Because you, you wouldn't be asking this question if you didn't know already that this is not the right person for you to marry. Not with the way that they are living. Not with the attitude that they have to life right now. People ask questions where you can tell that people are not trusting their senses. And there's got to be an explanation for that. It is because you've had a habit. You've had a habit of not trusting your senses. You've been made, you've become a person who does not believe that they can actually process and come to the right decision. Somebody is maltreating you and because over the years you've been given reasons to justify it, that's why Usinachi died. 
you know just get a seven year old when you ask a seven year old what should i do or if you, even if you get an animal that's why i keep saying that animals seem to be higher animals if you get an animal and you put it in a place where it's uncomfortable and it's being maltreated when he sees a person who maltreats it it's going to run away it's not going to stay and be trying to figure out should i stay or should i not stay no your answers are right there your senses will guide you to know what to do well, because you've made a habit over the year, over the decades of not trusting your senses, now you can't even help yourself. It is sad to see. So this man, you can see that there's a lot of gaslighting going on there. It's like he feels that suddenly he can say something and will forget and completely erase what has happened. And I'm not saying this because I want to get him into trouble. I am saying it because this is what happens in a lot of cases in our society. Something is clearly wrong and we want to just pretend that it's okay. I would want this guy to be let go. I really would want him to be let go. But there is a problem. This guy is not very well. And there are many people like this. And if we keep allowing these people to continue this way, then we will never get any turn around. So this thing needs to be handled. Even if not by even if not vdm or anything that puts him in trouble he needs to be checked he needs to be properly checked because something is seriously wrong even when you watch some of the videos that he does you will see that there's something it's like this person is not living in reality and you think he's wicked i'm not even necessarily thinking that he's wicked i'm not sure that i'm thinking that this man is wicked but something is wrong something is wrong somewhere so if we don't begin to pay attention to these things they will continue and they, will, they, they are just all over the society. And when you are thinking that it's okay, we'll just overlook this. You know, that person sees that happening and they decide to start theirs. Same thing with that relative of mine. So they see these things and they feel they can actually get away with it with some people. And so we allow them and then they keep on growing and they keep on multiplying amongst us. And that is how we have what we have today. So how can any normal person think that they can actually fool the whole world who has been watching this whole thing go on? How do you think that you can fool everybody? What makes you think that that is a possibility? It tells you that something is wrong inside. There's a deep-seated something wrong inside for you to not even be able to understand that there are so many different people that you're dealing with who have different capacities of intelligence different capacities of understanding for you to think that you can talk to the whole public like you will talk to one person that lives under your roof that you abuse and just feed anything that you want do you understand this and this is what some people are going through in their homes where somebody will be telling them things that are nothing to do with reality and paint a completely different picture of what has transpired that's what he's trying to do here he's trying to gaslight all of us all at once if you understand what I'm trying to say, I'm telling you that I want us to look beyond what, what has happened here with church, with um, just, and I'm not talking about just him. I am saying, like I've been telling my friends, that some of these people, some of these people who call themselves men of God, who do these things, are not necessarily doing it out of their choices to be bad to the people. There is something going on where some people have some screws missing and they need treatment. Or they have done it for so long that they believe that they are invincible and can fool anybody and everybody all at once. You know, you can do something consistently for so long that you begin to believe even your own lies. Whatever the case may be, whether it started like that or it's ended up being like that something is wrong inside and that is the thing that needs to be addressed i don't believe in surface things let's get to the root of it because if we don't this person cannot even have a good they can't i know as they are doing those things they can't be happy they cannot be happy because they know that something is off with them as well so we need deep psychoanalysis here and then deep treatments